Hi guys. Time to translate. See what his energies are. Which I believe is doing awesome. Lente. I feel like this is the energy for this weekend, but depending on when you receive this and your location, you'll get it when you need it. I'm going to use the tarot deck and then I'm going to do the magic deck and the traveling deck. I'm not going to do the numbers with my dice. I'm going to use the numbers on the cards. Um, and everybody's welcome because I do all zodiac, so no worries. We can see where this energy is up. Alright, I'm going to do the travel deck first. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is traveling energy. Are you traveling this weekend, honey? Oh, I got this big old napkin right here. Well, I do know I was cleaning the phone, but I didn't need all that. Why am I squinting? That's intriguing. I haven't been squinting lately, and I'm back squinting. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's very interesting. Take time to rest. This weekend, you may be resting. Take time to rest. And safe in the light came out. You're safe in the light. Are you standing out right now? Putting others first. And don't cross the line. That's what we got for the traveling. Don't cross the line. Put in others first. You're safe in the light. And take time to rest. Now we move over to Tarot. I honestly feel like this was the energy of the day, honestly. That's intriguing. But some keep telling me it's for the weekend. But as I said before, whenever you tune in, it's meant for you at that time. Or location. Some people get things first. It'd be intriguing to me. The Ace of Cups. Oh my Jesus. Asalente. You're overflowing. You're safe in the light. Your foundation is overflowing. And you're manifesting. And the universe is giving you both of these. Your foundation is overflowing. And whatever you're manifesting. The universe is giving you a chance to manifest. And you're overflowing. That's awesome. It's water based and land based. So that's blooming time. Literally. That's why you're overflowing. And this bird right here catching my attention. Something about this bird. I'm going to pull another card for that. It's going with your foundation. It's going to remind me of a pregnancy, honestly. But as I said, blooming time is it's blooming. Things are definitely blooming. And it's intriguing that this bird is making your foundation overflow. That's so awesome. Oh, Jesus, the fool card. Uh oh. You're being a fool to whatever this is, this bird. obstacles coming whatever you're manifesting it's, it's coming off as obstacles lots of them that's beneficial for you and you're definitely standing out the sun card came out and whatever you're manifesting but it seemed like obstacles ah stuck energy are you stuck <laughs> that's probably the obstacles you're stuck while you're manifesting. 
intriguing. Very, very intriguing. Oh, where's that cup? Well, you're overflowing. You made an exchange with somebody. That's so awesome. You're working with somebody to manifest. That's why your cup overflowing. It went from, where is it at? From the universe offering you a foundation to you working with somebody. Y'all making an exchange. This is like joining something. You joined something. Where is that other card at? Yeah, whatever you're manifesting, you joined it. Which is obstacles. It's coming off as obstacles. Whatever you joint is coming off as obstacles, but it's beneficial for you. The universe gave it to you and it's overflowing. That's awesome. <laughs> That's super awesome. But it's full energy coming out because what is making a cup overflow, which is whatever you joint, is full energy in there. I'm sure you haven't pulled another card for that. But on the Hierophant, you got Seekers. Somebody's going to be coming to you for answers. What is this full energy? Oh, the universe is giving a lot. Jesus Christ. You got the Ace of Swords, Justice. You're being a fool to justice. <laughs> How intriguing. Where is that card at? Yeah, it's going with the first freaking card that came out. The Ace of Cups. Is justice. This bird that is overflowing this foundation is justice, and you're being a fool to it. Whatever you join, whatever you join ain't understanding, or you may not be understanding the justice in it. That's intriguing. Very, very intriguing. A couple more cards. Oh. You're looking back at something. What are you looking back at? You have what you need, but you're looking back at something. This is coming off like a relationship. This is intriguing. You have what you need, but you're looking back at old relationships where it's not working no more. The swords are dropped. This is like you are with somebody new, but you are looking back at your old relationships. Even though it's over with, you with somebody new, but you're looking back at your old relationships. That's intriguing, because the next card that came out is you're running with the, you're running with it. Maybe it's, it's a reason why you're looking back. That's the intriguing part. There may be some lessons that you had to learn in it, but however it go, you're running with it. That's intriguing. And they got the seven on It's obvious. Huh. Or maybe it's something you left in your past that you had to go back and get, but whatever it is, you're running with it. Very intriguing. And then you got the devil card. You're bound to somebody. You... Have a spiritual connection with somebody. Do you remember um, this guy probably did? Another card for this uh, devil energy. Yeah, yeah. It's a drink. This is, ah, it's a lot of cards to Jesus. <laughs> Got a lot to say. <laughs> within yourself you're spiritually connected to somebody you're having divine communication <laughs> you're in the middle of something what's going with that justice aspect hmm that's intriguing uh, ace of pinnacle I think we got all the aces that's why your cup is overflowing you got the ace of cups the ace of swords the ace of wands and the ace of pinnacles oh my god 
That is so awesome. That's so awesome. Ay, ay, ay. That's so, I'm busy. Can I give more show? Um. Commercial. That is so awesome. You got all the aces. Universe is offering you all this. Like, here you go. Here you go. You want to manifest? Here you go. Here goes some. Take us some lead. Here's a foundation. Here goes justice. Go ahead and manifest. Like you have every freaking ace. That's so awesome. It's Sunny Boo, you've not seen me working, sir. Um, <laughs> take his a work day, huh? <laughs> All the foreigners do it. Um, what is this? I'm not sure what this energy is. The wheel of fortune. And you're headed somewhere. What is this? Yeah, the king of pin. That's the king of pin. What is that? You're working on something. Hmm. You have a balance with somebody, but you're giving it in another aspect. You have a balance with somebody, but you're giving it somewhere else. But it's meant to be that way because the Wheel of Fortune came out. Then the King of Pentacles is on the other side. It's the King of Pentacles that's doing this. Pardon me, I just gotta look at this energy, it's intriguing. Because you have a balance somewhere, but it's like your balance is coming off not balanced because you're given somewhere else. And what you're given seem to have more because you're given in that aspect. But with you, where you're supposed to be at, it's a balance. It evens out. This is coming off. This could be marriage or... I don't know. You could be working a lot, investing more in working out like in your family. But if you were at with your family, it'll balance out. But wherever you're at, it's more manifestation there. And your foundation not seeming like that much because you're going. It's the King of Pentacles doing this. It's, which is something the universe gave you. It's your spouse. Your spouse is given somewhere else. But the Will of Fortune came out, it's meant to be that way. Because you headed somewhere, and you're working on something that's going with the obstacles. You're headed somewhere for obstacles, which is going to be your manifestation. Your obstacles are your manifestations, which is very awesome at the same time. What is this bound to? The devil energy. What is that again? I know it's got to go within yourself. You're having divine communication and you're, that's what it is. You're in the middle of something. These two go together. Wherever you invest in your time at. One is moon aspect. The other one, it got to be sun energy. This is light and dark energy. You're in the middle of it. That's intriguing. Ah, oh, waiting on you. <laughs> That's awesome. Mine's waiting on you. Your foundation is waiting on you. 
That's so awesome. This is the exchange. I'm not sure if this happened already or this is gonna happen. Like all these offerings, this is gonna come quickly. But they're waiting on you. Your foundation is waiting on you with the world. Like, those are the obstacles that I was saying that you're working on and that you have a lot of. You're headed to there and your partner is going to be there with the world, which is everything the universe is giving you. That's awesome. And they got that foundation, the crazy cups. And they got a fish in it. So you're definitely gonna have a baby. That's amazing. <laughs> that's awesome. You definitely got a baby. That's 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 symbolizing. I don't know how quickly, but you know, it's gonna happen. For sure. When you get to your destination of finding your foundation. It's going to seem like a miracle. Because this is all coming in quickly. I did a translation like this. It was saying, I think the name of it was Help Wanted. And it's like, things are just going to make a quick fix for you. And this is that energy. You got every ace. Back to back. Only in the morning like today. That's all from the universe. You have manifested a lot. Of good karma. <laughs> but I'm moving right over to the magic deck now. Oh, you're standing out. That was one of the traveling deck. You're safe in the light. Yeah, you're lightening up. And they got your foundation. That's so awesome. There's others like you, and y'all all are lightening up. I want to pull another card out in tarot for this. That's so intriguing. It's so intriguing. This is definitely reminding me of joining the family. And y'all all like have the same type of gift. Like y'all all, it's a stand out energy. Like look at that. I'm looking. Hopefully you can see it. That's a lot of lightening up. It's all the same. It's the same energy. And it's in the dark. It's a scar right there. Like how I'm able to do this, translate energy um, that nobody sees but is there. It's on the other side, but it's still here. Um, shadow side. That's the best way I like to explain it, our shadows. Um, you see your shadow, but some people don't recognize their shadow. They don't acknowledge their shadow. Um, it's the other side of us that helps us, guided us. When you be hearing like a voice in your doggone head, but you don't see nobody else around, that's that one. <laughs> um, that's that energy. But your foundation, your foundation is there. That's so awesome. That's super awesome. I got an indentation on my freaking arm. I got such good skin, man. That I'm leaning on this dog on table and I'm going to put an indentation in my dog on. Or I'm going to hurt. This is quite exciting, I must say. Honestly. Very exciting. And I even got my tea, too. <laughs> this is some deadly tea. Because I use the travel deck first, and this is traveling energy. I'm traveling somewhere where it's going to be obstacles, which is going to be your manifestation, which means there's lessons you got to learn. Um, and you're going to be joining something, and wherever you're joining is your actual foundation. Like, that's amazing. You're going to be having seekers. You're running with obstacles. Um, there's full energy, though, in the foundation you're joining. Um, you feel stuck. It's obvious while you're working and manifesting. You're stuck. You're bound to something which is 
The eternal realm. You can communicate with the eternal realm. But this is saying you're bound to somebody. Which is probably when you join something. You're going to be bound to them. You're going to get married. This is married, marriage energy. But you're going to go within yourself. You're going to have divine communication because you're bound to somebody. And the, I keep saying the devil. This is a devil card because... People get freaked out when you can communicate with somebody energetically. Like, if you don't physically see them, but you say, I can communicate with you from a distance, they look at you like you're crazy, but that's the definition of oneness. You know, that's what marriage is supposed to be, but people get married for different reasons, you know. It looks good financially or something of that nature. Um, we have beautiful babies together, something of that nature, other than what it's really supposed to be. Um... But this, this is no break in this one. You're bound. That's why I come off with the devil energy. Much as you might want to escape, you're not going anywhere. Like what you're supposed to. Even though it gets a little intriguing because I think about the words that you say when you get married to death do us part. But it's like for the best things because, you know, reincarnation, you do come back. You know, you do want to try again. <laughs> At first start. But it's like you're really bound to them. Hopefully you had a conversation about what happens when I leave out. Because if not, then you might have a crazy one because y'all still connected together. Or you might be crazy and not know why. Somebody might be helping you. You might, be not, you might not be recognizing it because you think it's over, completed. They're with you forever. <laughs> but it seems like it's already happening because you have having divine communication with them. Let me show you. I feel like I'm talking fast. Why am I talking so fast? I don't know, maybe this is a little exciting because this is really good energy, I must say. But, um, this is a person and you're communicating with a ch Oh, there goes that chirper! Where is that cup at? <laughs> the first card that came out, there's a chirper at the top of your foundation, which is making your cup overflow. That's who you're communicating with. You're already having divine communication, or you will be, and it's going to make your foundation overflow, because y'all going to be communicating from a distance. That's awesome. <laughs> That's super awesome. And what you communicate them with the divine aspect, it's a nine on it. You have to change your perspective on it, which is probably going with the full energy, because you're missing it. But you definitely made an exchange with somebody of your foundation, whether it has happened already or not. That's intriguingly awesome. Why well, this card just come out? I said, don't cross the line. Let's, let's pull this card out again. What is this about? We're going to grab out the middle of tarot and see. Ay, 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 anxiety. You're having anxiety. Ay, ay, ay. And it's got the nine on it, too. We just had the nine on it. Gotta change your perspective. It's something that you're not seeing clearly, and it's probably why I just sit there and say it. Like, if you're not always around your spouse, or your spouse died, they, I hate to use the word died. Ah, oh, Jesus. Because they're, they're still there. Even with that, you have to change your perspective on that. They're still there. But if you don't physically see them, it can cause you to have anxiety. You have to change your perspective and know that they're still there. They're guiding you. It's making me think of this song, uh, How Deep Is Your Love? Because, like, if it wasn't deep or strong, you're going to miss a lot. But this is showing you have anxiety. And it's going with Don't Cross the Line. It sounds like a contradiction, honestly. Feels like your spouse could be already on the other side of the line and it's saying don't cross the line. But that could be something totally different. Maybe you might be doing something you're not supposed to. And it's like, you better not do that. Don't you think about crossing that line. <laughs> you know you ain't supposed to be doing that. 
But it's going with that, whatever it's going to cause you anxiety. Well, that's probably exactly what that is. It's so intriguing how I say things, and it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> My spirit guides are awesome. Um, <laughs> I tell you no lie. Yeah. If you know you're supposed to be doing something, don't do it. You're going to cause anxiety. That's a lot of anxiety. A lot of it. And it's going with you being stuck and headed somewhere. You're having anxiety by being stuck. And wherever you're headed to is that anxiety. And it's saying don't cross the line. But however go, you're running with it. So you eventually you're going to change your perspective on it because you're running with it. But it's going with whatever you're looking back at. Whatever you're looking back at. This was a very oscillante translation, I must say. Let's see what numbers we got. What's at the bottom of the deck? Dwelling. <laughs> Will you have what you need? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, that's going with the energy as into. You're looking back at something. Don't cross that line. You're headed back somewhere you're not supposed to be. You're doing something you're not supposed to be. You have what you need, but you're looking at something you lost. That's no longer serving you. Ay, ay, ay. What numbers did we have? Two. Six. How many twos? We got a few twos. Two, two. A lot of here and after energy. You got in the dark energy, change perspective energy, balance energy. So that's the energies the here and after it's a balance and you have to change your perspective because you have a balance you're not realizing you have a balance or you will have a balance if it's not resonating it, it's, it's coming and it seems very quickly it's coming quickly so remember be kind you are a reflection okay